Hello guys, meet again with Queen MMA. Jenny Golovkin has the nickname Triple G or GGG, and it's not about making fans look like people who stutter or like people who have seen a ghost. The Triple G refers to his real name, Jenny Jenadayevich Golovkin. A boxer from Kazakhstan who has extraordinary punching power, and has the highest knockouts ratio in middleweight history, at 89% of all fights he won by knockout. And here are Jenny Golovkin's 5 best knockout wins of all his matches. But before we continue, please press the subscribe button and activate the bell to always update the latest info from Queen MMA. versus Rubio. Golovkin beat Rubio via knockouts at 119 seconds in the second round, out of 12 planned rounds. The fight took place on October 18, 2014, at the StubHub Center, Carson, California, United States. What's the boss? In this case, they adhere to the same thing, the same concept, this is the main event of the evening. In the competitive first round, Golovkin managed to beat Rubio by landing more punches. And it's uh, discouraging for his opponent. Here, not the first day's A hard hook into the right hand by Golovkin. Rubio comes back with the right hand of his own. The exchange works, then he lands an overhand right. Followed by another overhand right. In the second round, Rubio leaned against the ropes of the ring when Golovkin managed to land a left overhead on Rubio's head. The count of 10 was shouted at in Spanish by referee Jack Rice after Rubio fell back on the canvas. After being declared KO, the rising Rubio signaled to the referee by pointing his glove at the back of his head. However, Golovkin's punch was a clean hit with normal speed. He is still the undefeated middleweight champion of the world! 9. Versus Fuchigami Jenny Golovkin vs. Makoto Fuchigami takes place on December 9, 2012, at Ice Palace, Ukraine. Led by referee Jose Ignacio, Golovkin managed to beat Fuchigami at 1.17 seconds in the third round, out of 12 planned rounds. It's amazing how he stayed on his feet after more big punches oh, coming in, it's all over. But it's all over in the third round. In the fight, Fuchigami attacks Golovkin with jabs and left punches. Golovkin, on the other hand, did a few attacks, but was able to throw a punch at the end of the round, resulting in an open wound in Fuchigami's right eye that bleeds for the rest of the fight. In the second round, Golovkin was able to control the fight, and most of the fight was hands down. At 2.10 seconds of the second round, a right hit sent Fuchigami to the ground on his back, but he was able to quickly get up and continue the fight. Far too much. Are you okay? I can tell you the answer Even to that. Even with wobbly legs, Fuchigami was able to end the second round. In the third round, Fuchigami fell again in the corner of the ring by a left hook, which was then followed by a right shot from Golovkin. Even though he managed to stand up and continue the fight, his struggle had to stop in the third round. Although Golovkin was ninth according to Ring Magazine at the time, Fuchigami was the underdog at 31, and did not have the Ring Magazine ranking. This is Fuchigami's first fight outside his home country, Japan. Versus Macklin. As they come to the ring, Matthew Macklin. And it is test we've been looking for for Golovkin. In the match which was held on June 29, 2013, in Connecticut, USA, Golovkin appeared confident in his knockout victory in the third round of the planned 12 rounds fight. 
Golovkin, as we said earlier, stocking back when lands a strong right. Golovkin successfully canvassed Matthew Macklin in the main card of HBO's Boxing After Dark. Disconnects everything from the waist down. Yeah, it's hard to break. So it's just one of those left hooks to the body. A perfect look. In the early rounds, Golovkin was able to get Macklin into trouble with a powerful and accurate swing. Until the middle of the third round, a left hit from Golovkin that made Macklin hurt and was unable to beat the 10 count from the referee. Macklin, who remained in the ring for some time to recover, was forced to admit the greatness of Agenity Golovkin. Over the course of three rounds, Macklin has suffered cuts to his left eye and bruising under his right eye. In his post-fight interviews, Macklin, who has fought the best fighters, called Golovkin the best opponent he has ever met. Set him up with the right uppercut, didn't want to hit him with it, because he really wanted the big left hook to the body, landed right on the money. And you don't recover from that in 10 seconds, as you see, Macklin is still Scoring on a 10-point must system will be... 7. Versus Proxa. On September 1, 2012, Genity Golovkin met with Gregor's Proxa in New York, USA. Genity managed to beat Proxa via technical knockout in the fifth round at 111 seconds. Golovkin, who appeared very strong, although Proxa also appeared very brave, but fell in the first round, even though it was more of a slip. However, more or less Proxa suffered injuries from falling which made Proxa unable to defeat his opponent. Golovkin who appeared like a bulldozer managed to make Proxa fall twice in the fourth round, and was finally completely defeated via technical knockout in the fifth round. Maybe this is the only makes sense reason why Felix Sturm doesn't want anything to do with Genity Golovkin. Versus Monroe Jr. Genity Golovkin versus Willie Monroe Jr. is the fight for the world middleweight title on HBO. The fighting Golovkin weighs 159 pounds, managed to beat Monroe Jr. which at that time weighed 160 pounds. Golovkin managed to beat Monroe Jr. via technical knockout at minute 042 seconds in the sixth round of the planned 12 rounds. Legs are gone. The, legs are gone. Yes, thank you. Yeah. the event, which took place on May 16, 2015 in California, United States, was led by referee Jack Rice and broadcast at the home box office. In the fight, Monroe who started with a fast movement was forced to slow down and admit Golovkin's advantage. Likewise in the second round, where Monroe was trapped in the ring rope and fell twice. Feeling left behind, Monroe tried to change the game plan in rounds 3, 4, and 5. The strategy paid off, leaving Triple G overwhelmed in close combat, and he had no chance of getting out of range. But in the sixth round, Triple G was able to advance quickly, and take advantage of Monroe who was off guard with his punches. Monroe, who fell, was able to beat 10 counts, so referee Jack Rice was willing to give Monroe a chance to fight. 
but unfortunately Monroe did not respond, so the referee Jack Rice immediately stopped the fight and gave Golovkin the victory via technical knockout in the sixth round. Rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh god she's such a tease, bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase, got some meat to the face, baby, I don't need no space Come in closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make everything just fade away Cause she's like sex